Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. first ever virtual 4th of July ceremony. We're so happy you could be part of today's celebration of 245 years of American independence. While we wish we could celebrate with you all in person, as we have in previous years, we're grateful that through the magic of modern technology, we still have the chance to share with you what makes our Independence Day so special to Americans across the United States and around the world including the thousands of U.S. citizens here in Belize. On this day in 1776, the Second Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence and announced that 13 North American British colonies were henceforth free and independent states. These same founders 
later created the United States' democratic system of government, a bold experiment built on a set of ideals which, by the power of their example, would lead to the eventual rise of democracies all over the world. Democracies that share our values and belief in the inalienable human rights that we all possess. While the world has far more democracies today than it did in 1776, there continue to be challenges to this enlightened model of government. And there continue to be challenges across the globe to the full expression of our inalienable human rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These words of Thomas Jefferson are as powerful today as when he wrote them in 1776. And while we hold these truths, these rights to be self-evident, we know that the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. In the face of authoritarianism, we join with countries like Belize that hold the free expression of democracy as a central tenet of our belief in how we choose to be governed. The world today also faces another challenge to our very public health. Early last year, much of the world was brought to a virtual standstill by the global COVID-19 pandemic. More than 182 million people and counting have been infected with COVID-19 around the world, and nearly 4 million have died. Billions more have seen their daily lives upended in ways we could not have imagined just a few years ago. COVID-19 has been a test not just for each of us as individuals, but to the global community as a whole. Today, with billions of people still unvaccinated and the new, more infectious variants popping up in unexpected places with alarming regularity, we can say without a shadow of doubt that none of us can ever be truly safe from this virus until we are all safe from it. And yet, there is still progress and reasons for hope. Just like America's founders rose to the challenge they faced to create a new nation based on the democratic ideals of the Enlightenment, millions of people across the United States and around the world have stepped up from heroic research efforts to develop vaccines, to vaccine campaigns around the world, including the United States' commitment to donate vaccines across the world, including here in Belize. I am proud that the United States is helping to lead the global fight against COVID-19, along with its friends and allies. Since joining the COVID-19 Vaccines Global Access Initiative, commonly known as COVAX, the United States has contributed $2 billion U.S. dollars and pledged an additional $2 billion through 2022. I'm proud that Belize is one of the many beneficiaries of this program, having received over 100,000 vaccine doses through COVAX, with an additional 138,000 doses anticipated in the coming months. Last month, President Biden announced that within the coming months, the United States will share 80 million doses from our vaccine supply with the world. America will continue to stand strong with Belize and others in the international community as we share resources and expertise to fight this pandemic together. Defeating COVID-19 is no easy task, but then again, neither was declaring the first independent democracy in 245 years. The United States, like so many places, remains a work in progress. But when the going gets tough, we have shown time and time again that we are more than capable of stepping up to the challenge. It is my hope that someday soon, we can declare our own freedom from COVID-19. We do not know whether the disease itself will ever be fully eliminated, but every day we are working toward a world in which it is no longer with the upper hand. A world in which we can reclaim our daily lives and sense of normalcy. Even when that day eventually comes, we know that we cannot rest any more than America's founders did when they declared independence from Great Britain. Millions of Americans today, just like millions of Americans in 1776, continue to strive for a more perfect union. We stand with our brothers and sisters across the world to work toward a more humane and just future where the dignity and human rights of all people without regard to race, religion, or gender of how we were born or who we love. This year happens to be a special one for the relationship between the United States and Belize. 2021 marks 40 years of bilateral relations between our two nations. And throughout these four decades of friendship, 
America and Belize have worked to continually strengthen our diplomatic ties and to advance Belizean security, economic growth, and good governance. The United States and Belize work together to fight human trafficking, increase economic opportunities, and to combat transnational crime, such as narco trafficking. So we work with our Belizean partners to protect Belize against national disasters, to build and renovate schools and hospitals, all with the ultimate goal of building a safer and more prosperous Belize for all Belizeans. As important as these initiatives obviously are, the ties between our nations go much deeper than that. The United States is home to the largest Belizean community outside Belize, with more than 85,000 Belizeans residing in the U.S. And tens of thousands of U.S. citizens live permanently in Belize. Prior to the pandemic, more than a million U.S. citizens visited Belize every year. And we are once again seeing more American tourists in Belize, thanks in no small part to the efforts of our two nations to fight this pandemic together. U.S. tourism is a major driver of Belize's economy, and the United States remains Belize's principal trade partner and a major source of foreign investment. Americans love visiting Belize, and Belizeans love visiting the United States. There is so much that unites our two countries, and I believe that our shared respect for democracy, human rights, and human dignity, whether inspired in part by independence declared in 1776 or in 1981, is perhaps the strongest bond that Americans and Belizeans share. As many of you know, this will be my final 4th of July in the role of Chargé d'Affaires at the U.S. Embassy in Belize. It is with a heavy heart that I will soon leave this beautiful country that I have grown to love. But I also leave heartened by the resilience of Belizeans and Americans alike in the face of shared adversity. I believe that America's founders, facing their own adversities 245 years ago, would have been proud of our courage and determination in facing today's struggles. And I hope that our descendants 245 years from now will look back at us today with similar pride, seeing what we were able to cope, overcome by working together. From all of us at U.S. Embassy Belmapon, I wish you a safe and happy 4th of July. Greetings. Our government and people greatly value the meaningful friendship that exists between our two nations. Belize truly appreciates the continuous cooperation between our two governments. We continue to strengthen our relations through meaningful partnerships in various areas like security, institutional strengthening, bilateral trade, culture, and other mutually beneficial interests. Together, we continue to work to promote democratic principles in our hemisphere. At the United Nations, we are committed to creating a world truly fit for all humanity. Belize appreciates and welcomes the U.S. rejoining the Paris Accord and look forward to meaningful efforts to addressing issues relating to climate change. We appreciate U.S. efforts in sharing its knowledge in science as we face this most immediate challenge the coronavirus pandemic. Together, we are fighting and defeating COVID through information sharing and vaccines, but just as important, we are learning to adapt. Indeed, the pandemic has impacted all aspects of our lives, forcing us to find new ways of interacting and more so, new ways of sharing. The English translation of the motto of the United States is, out of many, one. It is a constant reminder to all Americans that in unity there is strength and that together we can do great things. On this 245th anniversary of the United States independence, we wish President Biden and all the American people good health, continued success, and a happy Independence Day.
So my name is Wilbur Zare. I'm the Consular Chief here at the U.S. Embassy in Belmopan, Belize, and I'd like to wish all of our American citizens here in Belize and abroad and in the United States a uh, wonderful and happy Fourth of July. And as we celebrate here uh, our independence and celebrate with our Belizean friends, we just wish you all to have a wonderful day. Happy Fourth of July! Hi, I'm Floyd Hunter. I'm the COV for Corazol. And I'm Patty Hunter. I'm his assistant. We want to wish y'all a happy and safe Fourth of July. Hi, happy Fourth of July. I'm Dr. Paul from Belmopan. I've been living here in Belize for 31 years. I'm a proud U.S. citizen and I've been serving with the United States Embassy for the last 22 years. I'd like to give a big shout out to my friends and family back in Georgia, Go Dogs, Alabama, Florida, Texas, and Ohio. I hope you guys are having an amazing Independence Day filled with fireworks, hot dogs, and of course, some Marie Sharps. Happy Independence Day, cheers. Hi, my name is Jenna Carter. I am a proud US citizen because I have many opportunities and I want to travel the world. I am very excited to spend my 4th of July with my family in Los Angeles, California. We will be playing backyard games such as dominoes on cards and the grill will be lit. We will end the night by enjoying our time together and watching the fireworks. So I hope that you guys enjoy yours too and also be safe. I am going to spend my 4th of July at work. But if I wasn't, I would spend it at home with my family over a nice meal, giving thanks that we're all there together. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Hi, I'm Maya King and I'm one of the community liaison volunteers for the U.S. Embassy here in Belize. And today we're celebrating 4th of July. Yes, we're celebrating proudly because we're part of it. What makes me proud to be an American is that I am part of a beautiful melting pot made up of different people, different races, different cultures. Happy Independence Day, everyone! Well, good evening, folks, from somewhat sunny Placencia. Hi, my name's Bill. I'm the rep down this area. And this is how we spend our happy hour and evenings, and especially this 4th of July that we'll be doing this. Hope everybody has a really nice 4th of July, and try and stay safe. Blessings. My name is Ras Indio, reggae artist from here in Belize. I'm sitting here with my beautiful daughter, Zaria Obi, and my amazing son, Zaire Obi. And we here, as American citizens, will be celebrating our 245th year of independence. Independence brings freedom. Independence brings human rights. Mm -hmm. Independence empowers citizens to achieve the best of life to their full potential. This is why we choose to celebrate this July 4th, 2021 with our friends and family here at home as proud citizens of the United States of America. One love. Happy 4th of July! For me, July 4th is a time of celebration, but it is also a time of reflection. Um, there are so many of my family members and ancestors who have been in this country for so many years and who have been unable to truly celebrate what the 4th of July means and the independence that um, it should represent for all Americans. So, so while, we, while we celebrate, it's important to remember that those who have come before us to fight for true independence for all people and those that are still fighting for that. Um, so this year, I will make it my job and I hope that you make it yours too to remember, um, to reflect on what it means to everyone, all Americans in the US. So on July 4th, my family, we usually get together at my mom's in the backyard. Um, it is, a, I mean, with all most holidays in America, we tend to celebrate them with our families and it's a time or a wonderful excuse to get together and eat good food and laugh and, um, you know, just be happy and to celebrate life and, and to understand um, a lot of the privileges and opportunities that we do have living here. So uh, 4th of July, I can't wait to be at my mom's in the backyard with some good barbecue. <laughs> Lift every voice and sing till
Fourth of July and, and just celebrating with Belican beer and just having a good time and just thinking about the wonderful opportunities that the U.S. gave my folks and and just all the good stuff and man I sure wish I was on the waterfront in Wilmington, Delaware where I'm from and where Joe Biden is from but um, nevertheless I'm here in Sweet Belize and just having a great time and wishing you all happy Independence Day. Cheers! Happy 4th of July from Kikaka Belize. My name is Ria Gutierrez and I want to wish my fellow Americans a happy Independence Day. 
Whether you are barbecuing, working, or relaxing at home with family, I am spending mine at Tacos Don Carlos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful 4th of July. Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July. Hello, my name is Ethan Singh and I'm a dual Belize American citizen. I'm proud to be a citizen of a country with such a rich and vast history that I can study and learn from. Happy 4th of July to the United States of America. Happy 4th of July! I'm excited to spend my 4th of July with my family in the US for the very first time. I hope you all have a very safe and happy 4th of July. Good morning. As we celebrate July 4th, I am proud to be an American citizen and I pray that this morning as we celebrate this day that we will look above and look at the star spangled banner as it flies and waves proudly over the Capitol building of the United States of America and we can sing together. Oh say can you see that beautiful star spangled banner that waves across the land of the free and home of the braves. Happy 4th of July, America. America the beautiful. What does this flag stand for? Is it a famine and war? Is it the pain we ignore? Or something different? Through laws and resolutions, have we found real solutions? Maybe making it better is our mission. If Congress is making rules, I'll be in that room. I'm stepping into the world and out of the classroom. I pledge allegiance to a brighter day. I'm making changes, doing it my way. Raising my voice even if no one's listening. I'm learning what it means to be a citizen. Cause my country, tis of thee. What I make it to be. Land of the truly free if we fight for it. This constitution is ours to amend. We can make a new era bloom if we step into the world and out of the classroom. I pledge allegiance to a brighter day, making changes, doing it our way, raising my voice even if no one's listening, learning what it means to be a citizen, becoming a better kind of citizen.